Welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your bougie black brother, and we're here for our new wine review. And we're back to our subscription wines that I'm trying to go through because I'm sorting through the low cost one and the average tasting ones and the ones I say, don't you dare try to get this one. Um, but my selection I'm going through because I had about six to eight bottles and I'm going through those. And this one was part of that mixture. This is a merlot from chile it's called a tapaculo tapaculo from they have the region which is the central valley estate in chile um and the tapaculo is a seasonal bird that's um from chile so they they kind of named it after that it was kind of different and so the winemakers had the little bird in the area and they was like look Let's let's kind of name it after the the actual regional bird that's down here. Um, just a little information. I didn't think it was a big deal, but but that's where the name comes from. So um, I decided to have a Merlot because my wife made a stew for me and with the different type of vegetables and herbs and spices was in there. I wanted to try a Merlot. I really wanted to try a actual California Merlot, but the one that I had in stock was this Merlot from Chile. And I figured uh, if this is good, then I have two bottles of it anyway. So I had the first one. And as you can see, this is the second one. So we went through the first one because the stew was good. And this actually complemented the actual stew. But Here's where your issues come in. Your issue come in. It's not really a bold or fruitful Merlot. So, you know, some of the Merlots is a little more fruitful and like bursting of cherries and the tannins are really good. But this is medium. This is a medium body um, Merlot. But the tannins aren't as good either. But. It's an average. It's, it's, it's a nice complimentary wine. You know, we've been going through some complimentary wines. I enjoy having my standalone red wines that I can just sit and just sip on and, you know, taste the complexities. This isn't one of them. Um, this one um, has like um, notes and hints of cherry and kind of leather. And this one, usually I have an issue with it is if you notice that some older wines has that molasses t smell to it and this one had that um as i was drinking through it for the second day so didn't notice the first day but i was sitting there and trying to relax and get a second glass and then i, I took a good whiff of it well, let's do it one more time let's do a little swirl and get a little swirl going All right get a little swirl and and it's, and it's giving me that molasses smell. And that tells me, or regularly it tells me, it's getting a little old. It's at the last end of it. So I'm, I'm not sure if I got an old bottle because it's looked like a 2016. Um, so a little older. Um, but it has that uh, leathery, um, heavy leathery smell, slight molasses I don't really get much fruit to that, but let's taste it. Okay. Um, cherries. Again, you don't you don't, you don't get too much more from that. I'm not I'm not getting much more from that. And like I told you, the tannins are are um, light. Um, you know, they had some things to saying, oh, it's real silky and it's, eh, it's not silky. It's not silky worth a damn. Um, it's, it's not really that smooth too. Um, and my issue was I really wanted to smell, um, get that aroma that's really aromatic. So when you get the cherries, that's the, that you can distinguish between the cherries. This one is kind of like, yeah, it's okay. Um, 
and the pepper is light too. So I didn't say that too. It's really light. So good complimentary. You, if you have a really spicy red sauce, um, um, heavy beef, uh, ground beef or anything like that, this is not bad. You could just roll it with it. But as a standalone conversational piece, this Tapaculo Merlot is average. It's a really average. And the price point from um, $6.99 to $8.99, yep, you're getting what you pay for. So I'll probably run through this once again and have a quick stew. And I can probably finish this bottle and I think I will be okay. Um, but that's my review on the Tapaculo Merlot from the Central Valley Estate in chile and hope to see you soon i really want to have something light i'm trying to get something that goes with an asian noodle soup um i'm thinking on a gewurztraminer or a really tannin um, um heavy riesling um, because i had a riesling with the sweetness of the actual um, soup and, and the flavors in it and may come out of that but we'll see what we got and then we'll go from there but thanks for stopping by urban wine life and we'll talk to you soon